it's gonna be crazy guys i hope you all are excited for the patch coming tomorrow i'm going live for an overview of it right as it drops make sure you guys set your reminders for the stream it's going to be tomorrow at 1 p.m eastern so less than 24 hours now also i'd like to say that early access content for growing together is also out right now guys so make sure you search up on youtube to find some videos i'm sure there's stuff on instagram and other social media platforms but it seems like the sims team is actually giving us like a direct warning guys like an official warning for tomorrow's patch update and i don't even know if they've done this before but this is how you know this is going to be a very very major patch honestly before i was saying this is probably going to be one of the biggest patches we've ever received i think this is going to be the biggest patch we've ever received for the sim 4 i even think that this is going to be bigger than toddlers there's just so much that is coming with this and it's not just infants either i hope they have the patch notes ready to go for tomorrow because i definitely don't want to wait around super long after one o'clock i'm excited to read what exactly is coming what's being changed in every single little detail and i also hope that they have thrown some bug fixes in there as well because i know there's still a lot in the game that isn't really working right but they're definitely gonna have to be fixing more bugs after tomorrow if we get bug fixes anyways because i mean we're getting a brand new expansion back and we're getting a new life stage so i'm sure there are going to be some imperfections that is to be expected so the sims direct communications twitter account tweets tomorrow march 14th the infant base game update releases in the sims 4 which we already knew this update will likely conflict with externally created content so please remember to remove any game mods and custom content in preparation for tomorrow's release so they're basically saying hey we know you have mods we know they're going to break probably all of them honestly so here is what you can do of course warning you about it too they've released another tweet here with a link to help ea for backing up and resetting the sims 4 which is nice this update will also come with new skin details and numerous bug fixes okay so there we go my question has officially been answered here so there is a lot coming with this guys if you'd like to back up your save files in advance for this release here are instructions on how to do so so of course links to all of this on my website in case you want to check it out this means business guys this for sure means something huge if you haven't already expected it but basically confirmation from the sims team that it's coming and it is going to be massive i have not bothered with my mods literally all week not even going to even play my game until this comes and for sure will start my mods folder from scratch i'm not even going to attempt updating everything i'm just going to start it from scratch basically so by these tweets in other words pardon my language shit's gonna hit the fan tomorrow literally it's going to be massive popular mod creator of wicked whims even tweets tomorrow comes out the growing together game patch march 14th many mods will require updating for many different reasons so get ready to wait or play offline see you on the other side skull emoji so even turbo driver knows it's gonna be a doozy tomorrow so i say in preparation might as well get it done today the patch isn't out we still have a day while you guys are watching early access content i say sit and kind of play around with your mods folder back up your mods back up your saves back up your tray folder back up everything in a secure location to where you know nothing could get corrupt or deleted or misplaced or all of that stuff i would just completely clear out your mods saves and tray for the official game for when this updates and then slowly update things especially mods cc and put them back in and slowly put back in your saves and all of that stuff into your tray folder just to make sure everything works and functions properly because there have been times where if you have your tray folder full of things or your mods folder full of things when you update i've had things completely just deleted just completely gutted out and i wasn't able to get any of my saves or lots back like it just got rid of everything in that folder and i would hate to see that happen to you guys because if it happens it doesn't go into your recycling it just disappears and you can never get it back again so focus on today to work on your mods tray folder back up everything onto another drive maybe a flash drive or something or onto a different location on your computer and when tomorrow comes i guess we'll talk about it then because it's gonna be a big one i love you guys take care happy semming enjoy early access content it's up now from so many creators take care and happy simming